Hello, hello everyone. How is everybody doing? Apollo Guy Armory again here in YouTube and welcome back to my channel. To all our subscribers, thank you very much for all your support. And I hope that you're all doing great and having an awesome week. To our viewers who just happened to click the thumbnail, I just wanted to thank you for visiting. And if it happens that you like what you see here, do not forget to like subscribe and smash that notification bell so you will get notified whenever I uploaded a new content all right in distance shooting one of the leading challenges uh, we will encounter is calling out our correct wind hold or how we effectively estimate and dial the correct adjustment to compensate for wind Completing this task is not easy because estimating the wind speed and direction can be a challenge for both beginner and uh, expert marksmen. Well, each year new technology is introduced and it keeps going at a steady rate. One advantage of technology is that it makes our life easier and helps us to do things efficiently. In the past, I used to uh, calculate the wind speed and figuring out uh, wind direction through visual observation so I can dial the correct adjustment in my scope to effectively deliver an accurate shot. Today there are so many apps that are available for us to utilize for calculating ballistics and wind value. Well in this segment of Abulagai Armory we will be unboxing a digital anemometer or most of us call it wind meter. Now sit back and relax and give me a few seconds to go to the table and to do the unboxing for this gadget. Hey everyone, we are going to unbox this Hold Peak digital anemometer that we ordered online. This wind meter is uh, packaged in a small box as you can see here. And this unit also have an app that we can download into our phone and it is very simple to use. With that said, here is what we got in this package. All right, everybody, here we have the unit itself. It is a pretty cool looking unit. Yay! It also comes with an island carrying bag, and this is just for protection from potential damages when transporting the wind meter. It also comes with a lanyard so that you can secure it from accidental fall. It comes with a USB cable right here and also the user manual. They also included a small screwdriver for us to use for taking out the battery cover that is located at the back of the unit. Well everyone, this is pretty much what is included in the box. Here is the user manual. I know some of us doesn't like to read user guide or user manual, but I would say to take a little time to read the manual because this little paper contains all kinds of uh, good information to operate the unit. Now let's take a quick look at the unit. The unit of course is made of a plastic but it is pretty much very well constructed and on both on both sides we see that it has two non-slip rubberized grip. Here is the uh, on and off button. Press it for about one second, just like that, to turn on the unit. If it's too dark for you, just press this button right here. This is the LCD backlight, and as you can see, the LCD screen will light up. And if you don't touch anything for about 10 to maybe 15 seconds, the light will come off to save battery life. Once the unit is turned on, it will display the wind speed, temperature and battery life and when you press the button again it will turn off the unit now if you wanted to set a different wind speed unit press this uh, unit button right here and it will circulate 
through the different unit of measure. Uh, we have the meter per second. We have the kilometer per hour. We have the minute. Uh, oh, we have the feet per minute. And we also have the knots, which is nautical mile per hour. And lastly, uh, we have the MPH, which stands for miles per hour. The unit also have the uh, maximum and minimum uh, button right here. And this basically will hold the maximum wind speed and the minimum speed. The unit also have the... Uh, the Fahrenheit unit and uh, the Celsius uh, unit of measure for temperature reading. When the wind vane over here or the impeller turns, the LCD will instantly display the wind speed and uh, the temperature. And when the temperature is below zero, wind chill symbol will show on the screen. Well, the unit is uh, very simple to use and once the reading is taken, uh, it's pretty much stays on the screen. Now, what we can do is let's go outside and test the unit and hopefully we can get some uh, good wind out there. Okay, I'll see you outside. All right, my friends, I mounted the wind meter on a tripod and hopefully we can get some good reading. This is a cool little gadget that you can use to help you make your wind call when firing your rifle in a distance shooting. Now, if you have the money, I say by all means invest for a wind meter that has all the cool things with built-in applied ballistics. This is very helpful if you are, you know, shooting uh, uh, in a great distance like a thousand meters or more. If you are on a budget and in long range shooting and thinking to buy a wind meter to add into your shooting gadget, well, this maybe is just the right tool for you. How do I use this tool and why I want it? Well, I already have a ballistic app installed in my phone and thus it does all the calculations. I use this wind meter, this one right here to enter the wind value and the current temperature that I collected in the area including all the other data needed such as the bullet BC, the scope height above the bore, and so on and so forth. Then the app will calculate everything for me. Well, sometimes I feel like, you know, cheating because ballistic app is doing everything and gun, gun are the days uh, where you calculate everything, writing it down in your, uh, writing down all the information in your data book. And now there are even you now range data book app that you can download in your phone. Well, for our viewers who just started getting into long range shooting, I suggest to learn how to read the Mirage for your wind call. Knowing how to read the Mirage will significantly enhance your long range shooting skills. And don't rely too much uh, with your wind meter gadgets, but instead use it as a tool because wind direction changes all the time. With that said, this uh, wind meter is not one of the expensive, uh, you know, one of the expensive uh, that will make you dig deep into your pocket. Well, now if you already have a ballistic app installed in your phones and just wanted to have something to use for uh, wind data information, I would say that this di the digital anemometer is good enough to provide you the data that you needed to deliver your shot. Well, if you are considering to buy a wind meter or anemometer for distance shooting, this is a good gadget to have if you get started into uh, distance shooting. I would say that get the less expensive wind meter for now and buy the expensive one later with all the high-tech applied ballistics once you become proficient with your wind call reading. All right, well, my friends, this is it for me. If you like the content of this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you will get notified whenever I uploaded a new video. Once again, this is Apulakai Armory. Simplify, mabuhay po kayong lahat. Well, until next time, see you later.